Welcome back. My next guest is a regular performer at the Comedy Cellar and a very funny man. Please welcome Nick Griffin. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. You sound good, yes? Yeah. Oh, it's good for you. That's, uh, that's a lot. And it's, it's hard to feel good, you know, especially as an adult. And you could kind of see it coming, couldn't you? Remember when you were a kid and you'd look at your parents and they always seem anxious and kind of pissed off? And <laughs> you'd be like, geez, what's their problem? <laughs> then you get older and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's hard to be an adult, man. You're just, uh, just babysitting yourself all day. Isn't that what you're doing? <laughs> Trying not to do the things you really want to do. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Try not to eat too much, or drink too much, or smoke too much, or spend too much, or watch too much. Yeah. That's why adults go to bed early. There's really nothing left to do. <laughs> but it's 7:30. It's over. <laughs> Your social life shrinks as you get older. You know, I used to do a lot of stuff, but I just, I have, I have no patience. I used to go to a lot of concerts, and I can't do it anymore. Those big sold out 20,000 seats, it's just, got to wait to get into the concert, got to wait for a drink, got to wait for the bathroom, got to wait for the band. <laughs> and before the band starts, they're always like, are you ready to rock? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Of course we're ready to rock. We bought a ticket, we paid for parking, let's... <laughs> How do I prove to you I'm ready to rock? <laughs> That's why I think concerts are for young people, because when you're young and somebody says, you know, are you ready to rock, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> I am ready to rock. <laughs> How did that guy know? <laughs> But when you're an adult, you're busy. You're like, just go! <laughs> Play the four songs I like and wrap it up. <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but yeah. I am single. That's a cool thing to say in your 20s. Right? It means I've arrived, I got plans. Saying it now means my plan sucked. <laughs> I want to be in a relationship. I really do. I think I'm at a point, you know, because I've been on both sides. I've been single, I'm divorced, and been in relationships, married. It's, I think relationships are where it's at, you know? Relationships are where you grow and change, you know? Yeah. I mean, sure, you can change as a single person. It's just easier when you have someone right there going, change. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> I like the beginning of the relationship. That's the best, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so much hope. <laughs> It's like a gym membership. <laughs> um, uh, it's going to be different this time. <laughs> I'm going to do all the exercises. <laughs> you know why the beginning of the relationship is so good? Because you don't really know the other person. <laughs> you only know a little bit about them. They're only showing you the good stuff at the beginning. It's the movie trailer to the relationship you're going to have. <laughs> They're trying to trick you like movie trailers do. They're trying to sell you on some sexy action comedy. <laughs> but relationships are not sexy action comedies. No, they're a short porno film followed by a PBS documentary. <laughs> But I, 
sort of. <laughs> but I'm hanging in there, you know. I'm, I'm still trying. Got a lot of support. My sisters are always like, got to hang in there. Got to keep trying. <laughs> They're all in long-term marriages. You know, you can do it. It could happen at any time. You could meet the love of your life at 70. Ooh, I hope that's what happens. <laughs> the love of my life at 70? That's like getting an iPhone 4 now. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Everybody, we'll be right back.